Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're carrying on with our Mission Editor tutorial series in DCS World. And today we're looking at the trigger system. So the trigger system that, or the logic trigger system is a system that allows us to make missions dynamic. It allows them to change what's happening in the mission at any point during the mission. Without the triggers, you can only make a very kind of static, boring mission. You could put some planes in, you could put some ships in, and you could give those ships some planes orders, and they would fly around and sail around and do stuff, which is cool. But what you can't do is it to be dynamic, where things change on the fly, where orders change, where things can stop or start or appear or disappear, depending if the player does this, if the player does that. Um, and, and so that's what we're going to look at today. Um, we're not going to go over every, I mean it's a, it's a big system, so we're not, not going to go over everything, but we're, we'll get a good flavour for it. So, Mission Editor, uh, okay, we're in the Caucasus, Vataloo, let's just find somewhere, uh, this will do. Okay, well, let's just put us in, um, we're going to be there, and just something that loads quickly, like a, a 15 will do fine. Uh, we're going to be going that way, and we're going to be a client. Okay, let's save this up. Okay, so that's us there. So the main button for the trigger system is this guy here, set rules for trigger, and it works with, sometimes with or sometimes not in conjunction with this guy here, which is the create trigger zone. We've already done a video on creating the trigger zone and the different options. So today we're gonna look at how to drive that trigger zone, what that trigger zone is gonna actually do. So set rules for trigger and we get this menu here. Okay, so first of all I'll point out that I'm by, by no means an expert of this and I only know a portion of this and to be honest, a portion of this is all you really need to know. I, uh, I use probably 20% if that of this logic system and that uh, is all I need for the missions that I make but we'll just run through it. Uh, first of all we've got an, an initialization script down here. I believe this is for external scripting and that's beyond me so that's something I've never used. Next, we've got triggers, conditions, and actions. So the trigger box is what I would describe as the type of trigger that we want to use. The conditions are one or more conditions that have to be met within that trigger for these actions, associate actions, to be applied. And actions are the actual actions. They're the end consequence of the trigger. As long as it's met the conditions, then the actions will apply one or more so we'll start very simply triggers so we always we start from the left and work to the right so trigger number one that's set up new we can have type name and the event the type i've only ever used once uh, uh number one here we can have once continuous action switch condition or mission start and for everything i've ever done i've always used once but we do, do have the other options here Okay, so we're going to stick with once the trigger name. We can name that particular trigger if you like, but I see, I've never seen a reason to name it, so I'm just going to keep it as whatever it suggests to me. And then the event. We can have no event, and most of the triggers that I would use would be no event. But we have all of these events that we can choose from on destroy, crash, shot, eject, refuel, pilot dead, base captured, take control, refuel stop, failure, not sure actually sure what failure is mission start and mission end um, and for this one why don't we go mission start so this trigger is applicable only once when the mission starts so bearing in mind that we have an event here the mission is starting we can have a condition here if we liked but i want this to be unconditional so i want when the mission starts this thing will always happen i'm not going to have any conditions and i'm going to go new and the thing i want to happen um why don't we have something cool like an explosion? Everyone likes an explosion. Uh, explosion, and it's asking for a zone, so we're going to have to back out here. We may have to redo this, but that's okay. It doesn't take very long. First thing that happens is I want an explosion to happen, I don't know, in this building here. We're under attack, say, okay? So what I'm going to do is go here, create trigger zone. Remember, uh, these two work in collaboration, trigger zones and the trigger system. I'm going to place it there. I'm going to make it very small. 99 is the smallest I can make it. I'm going to call it BOM. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my trigger system. I need to... Because if you don't complete uh, the action, or if you don't complete setting up a trigger, and it's not a valid 
by the time you cross this off then it will delete itself so it's deleted itself and that's fine we're going to go new once start unconditional new uh, so this is the action and we've got a whole bunch of them I guess we're gonna have to go through them at some point but uh, let's just go through what I'm going to use. I'm going to explosion. I'm going to have it on the zone that is bomb. That's the one I made. I'm going to have it at an altitude of one. That's AGL in feet. And the volume, I think from memory, that's pounds of explosive. So a thousand pounds of explosive. Stand to be corrected. Okay, so that there is set up a legal trigger. So we're going to cross that off. And we're going to prove it's still there. Uh, yeah, there it is and if I want to see what's inside this trigger I click on it and you can see I've got these conditions and that action there okay so that's the first thing done uh, before we go and try uh, actually try out in game run the game uh, let's go and add another action okay so uh, the first thing that happens is the mission starts a bomb goes off uh, let's say that I am gonna be flying in my aircraft here and when I get to a certain area so a nice easy one new trigger zone I'm gonna plonk it there I'm uh, going to move its position slightly there. I'm going to change its radius, make it a bit smaller. There. And this is going to be called Bad Guys Trigger. So, what's going to happen is when my aircraft here goes in this trigger zone here, some bad guys are going to come along. Okay. Okay, and let's go and put the bad guys in. So, we're going to have aircraft up there they are going to be USAF aggressors that's fine they're going to be um, yep F-18 will be fine they're going to be uh, 6,000 feet they're going to be heading in that direction there there's going to be two of them and they're going to be late activation so what that means is they are not going to exist they're not going to activate until the trigger system tells them to activate so let's go and tr create our trigger for that Triggers, new, once, trigger name, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Event is going to be no event. Uh, so what I'm saying is it's not one of these events listed here. It's going to be conditional though. Okay, so we're going to click new. And the type of condition, I can have multiple conditions here, but I just want one, one which is that my aircraft is going in that zone. So I'm going to click the type of condition. Um, it's going to be, uh, zoom down here. It's going to be part of, there's two ways I could do it. Either part of group in zone, and my aircraft is a group, or we could do a part of collision, uh, coalition in zone. And obviously I'm part of the blue coalition, so it's whichever you fancy doing, basically. I'm going to do part of a collision, coalition in zone. And I want the blue coalition. So if I go in that, if a, if a blue guy goes in that zone, be wary that a ground unit will also trigger one of these uh, uh, blue part of coalition in zone triggers. And which zone do, do I want it to be in? I want it to be in the bad guy's trigger zone, that one there. So if on no event, once a condition is met that part of blue coalition are in the bad guy's trigger zone, then new uh why don't we uh, what do we have here is group activate and um we want to activate uh, i forgot to give them the name it's this guy's new airplane group hash zero zero one and as well as that will give us some warning so let's have a second action associated with this we'll give it the type uh what should we have a message a message to all in fact a message to coalition message to the blues Eek, bad guys, north, east. How long do I want that message to play? 12 seconds. Clear view, not actually sure what that means. And start delay, zero, so there's no delay before that comes up. Okay, so, with, I'm going to go out there. I'm just going to check it saved. And it has. So now, when a blue guy enters that zone these bad guys are going to activate going to spawn into existence and a message is going to come up telling us that they have spawned okay so that's the next one okay so that's add another layer 
of trigger now. So what you can have is triggers relying on other triggers, relying on other triggers, relying on other triggers. So we'll go into that a bit now. So if this guy here goes into that zone there, this guy appears. If this guy appears, then why don't we do something else? So um, I'm just thinking out loud here. Let's have a, a, a tank. Let's have it, say, there. Let's make it blue. Let's make it uh, artillery. Let's make it a paladin. Let's make it facing that direction. Let's make three of them. Let's give it some advanced orders. So on waypoint zero, which we're on at the moment, we're first of all going to fire, uh, perform task, make it fire at a point. That point is going to be the airbase with a nice big spread of bullets. Okay, so this guy is going to start from the beginning unconditionally and start firing at this base here. Uh, but I want to make this conditional so he only starts firing at this base here. So this task here we've given, this uh, advanced waypoint actions is going to be conditional with I could do it this way, I could make it time is more than certain or user flag is active or something uh, why don't we do this a slightly different way, why don't we add a new task and this new task is not going to be conditional, it's going to be uh, a hold task, I think we'll have that hold and what we're going to do is we're going to move the hold up in priority Okay. So what's going to happen with this plane? Let's just click off and click back on him. What's going to happen with this artillery now is they're going to it's going to spawn into existence when the mission starts. Um, it's going to have that on whatever it is, data link or something like that. And next, and it will work down these waypoint actions in order always logically. It will get to number two and then it will hold, and it won't go any further than that command, the hold command, until it's until it's told to proceed. At which point it's going to go on to its Waypoint zero, action three, fire at its target. So it's not going to fire at that target until certain conditions are met. And we can set that condition now. We'll make it a non-geographic condition. We'll make it something else. And we'll just make it up as we go along. So triggers. New trigger. Something that we want to happen once. I don't want uh, one of these events associated with it. I do want it to be conditional. So what we can have is, and let's just look through our list. Let's just have a little look. Why don't we say uh, group group dead group alive less than? How about that? It sounds a bit not very good English, but it's just logically written group. And remember, everything in DCS is a group. So that those two planes we've got up there is a group of planes. Group is alive less than uh, a certain percent. So which group is it that's going to be less than a certain percent? We're going to make it the vehicle group 01, that's the bad guys. And we're going to make it less than... Top that in there. So once um, less than 80% of that group is alive, so, i.e. once one of the guys has been shot down, then the paladins are going to start firing. New action. Um, I just got to remember where this is... Uh, group resume. We're going to tell a group to resume its hold uh, or, 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 or stop holding. And that group resume is going to be our group, obviously our ground group, and it's going to be a vehicle group. Okay, so let's check our logic. <clears throat> a trigger that is, can be uh, triggered once with that name on no particular event with a condition where a group is alive less than 80% and that group is the bad guys here with an action of, uh, create an action of group resume of those uh, vehicle group, which is the paladins. Okay, so that's that. So now we've got a trigger based on a trigger. So we've got a bomb going off when the mission starts. We've got, if we go in this zone here, then these guys spawn. And we've got, if one of these guys gets shot down, or one or more of these guys should get shot down, then these guys resume and start firing. Okay, and I think we'll do one more, um, uh, what I call dependent trigger as well. So, um, 
how about uh, this would be an interesting one so those paladins are going to hit the base right well what if there's a civilian in the base let's um, uh, make him unarmed uh, there's, a, there's a civilian riding around in a Humvee let's call him a civvy ok he's going to sit there and be a civvy uh, what if that civilian happened to be killed by those paladins which would be horrible friendly fire then we could go new event that civilian is only going to die once or once on no particular event a condition that group is dead and it's going to be the civilian group then uh, we are going to make a flag turn on flags are like boolean variables if any of you know uh, uh, some basic programming a flag is on or it's off and it allows us to control triggers so if a uh, flag goes to one so um, let's, let's review this logic if at once on one time no particular event the civilian group is dead then this flag turns to one okay so if this flag turns to one and what we're going to do then is create a dependent trigger so that when flag equals one something's going to happen so this is we're, we're, we're making this happen via the flag system which is a really useful system okay so i'm going to show that so the first of all we need to think well if we're going to make the flag one at a certain point before that certain point what is the flag set to and that's something we have to specify so we're going to go and create a new one here we're going to create it happens once we're going to uh, create on mission start in fact we can actually recycle our old mission start here so cancel this you see we've got an, uh, a trigger that already happens on mission start so as well as a bomb happening why don't we new uh, make the flag off so make flag number one off so when the mission starts flag number one becomes off and only when this event here happens, this trigger is set, does the flag go on, okay? So what do we want to happen? Well, we want to say when the flag um, 1 goes on, when the civilian dies, there's a warning. Uh, message to all. Um, two minutes left. 10 seconds, no clear view, start delay. So, when the flag turns on, the civilian dies, a message comes out saying that you've only got two minutes left um, of the mission because you've killed the civilian, so you only get two minutes left rather than infinite time left. Okay? So all we need to make now is the trigger that when two minutes have elapsed since flag one has turned, to, turned on, then the mission ends. So I know it's getting a little, a little bit complicated now, but this shows how dynamic you can make these things. So, new. And I'm going to say, um, if uh, once, no event, conditional on, and I'm going to go here. Time since flag, one. Uh, basically, so this is time since the flag has turned to one, uh, has turned on, sorry. It's flag number one, and uh, we want two minutes here, and it's in seconds, so two minutes is 120 seconds. Then, uh, we're going to end the mission. End the mission! Winner is going to be red at that point, because the civilian has died. Civvy killed mission failed. Okay? So, let's review our logic regarding this flag number one. When the mission starts, flag one is off. On one event, if the civilian dies, then, uh, and you always have to just check this to make sure the logic is done right, flag one goes on and you get a two minute left warning. And here, um, uh, we've got a once event. If the time since flag one was turned on it becomes 120 seconds, end mission action with a note of civilian killed. So, we've now got a three-tier trigger system. If we, this plane here, hits this uh, thing here, this trigger here, then these bad guys spawn. 
if one of these bad guys is one or more of these bad guys is shot down then these guys here can resume and start firing if they fire and they hit and kill this guy here then a timer is turned on which was uh, defaulted to off at the mission start and a message is sent and 120 seconds after that flag goes on the mission ends okay so we've got a pretty complicated set of little triggers there which is good um, I think before we test this mission what we're gonna do is just refine it a bit so these guys who are doing their fire at point we want to make sure they do kill that civilian so that's really bring that the um, the accuracy in shall we right we're pretty sure they're gonna hit that civilian now why don't we get even lower bosh so we're gonna bang right on that civilian's head there okay just gonna double check that was still working make sure it's in their range I think it is yep all oh, looks good they're gonna get him now, before we go and run that, what we're going to do is just look at the trigger, look at some more of those triggers and go through them. So let's go back to our triggers. So I've already looked at the different triggers. So let's have a closer look at the possible conditions. Just select there. New conditions. In fact, I should show that first of all, you can have a bit more logic here. Um, so uh, we won't keep this one. But so, so this one here, um, which is the time since the this is the end mission one if the time since the flag was 120 seconds in the mission well how about we wanted to add an extra condition in here so let's add an or and let's add a new uh, it's just I just choose a silly one um, uh, It's a silly one, obviously, but it just, it just gets the idea that for this action to happen, to end the mission, in this case, we could be 120 seconds since flag one turned on, or there could be this uh, condition here to be fulfilled, which is a bomb in zone. It could be a, it's a BDU-33, I think that's a training bomb. One of them was in this geographic zone here. So if either of these conditions were met, then that would happen. And what you could have then is another or and... Uh, all of courage you know choose whatever you want so you could have this or that or that those conditions were met then that action would happen okay and I use that quite a lot so let's just delete them because they're a little bit silly uh, let's look at the different types of conditions that we've got some I know some I don't know if all of coalition are in a zone so that's if all of the blues somehow get in one area zone then an action can happen all of coalition out of zone so the polar opposite to that then something can happen all of the group is in a zone so a group of uh, in this case my f15 is just one group if my f15 flew in a group that would constitute that or if all of a group of four tomcats was in the zone in the zone it means the zone it means this guy here obviously the uh, trigger zone uh, if all of the group is out of the zone if a bomb is in the zone we've already looked at that you get to choose what type is it an AGM-62? How many of them and are in or fall in a certain geographical zone? Um, if a cargo is unhooked in a zone, I've uh, never done this before, uh, but you can add cargos in here, if you remember, that can be picked up by, by, by um, aircraft. You put it in through this menu here, the static object menu. If a certain cargo was unhooked in a geographical zone, do something, okay? Uh, what if a uh, coalition has airdrome? Uh, I don't know how they work, sorry. Dead zone, don't know, sorry. If a flag, if this flag here equals a value of 10, then do something. Uh, flag equals flag, <laughs> okay. So if flag 1 became the same value as flag 3, then do something. I've never done that, but that's actually quite useful. If a flag is false, so it's just a flag. Well, is 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 the, the boolean is set to false. If a flag is less than, so if our flag one becomes less than eight, then do something. If flag is less than flag, okay. Uh, so if flag one is less than flag three in value. Fair enough. Never noticed this before. If flag as more than. If flag is true, okay. So all the different. 
um, uh, uh, integer comparisons there, or Boolean uh, comparisons. Okay, uh, if group is alive, I don't actually know what that will do, because a group is always alive, isn't it? So presumably that means if some th a group is activated, then it's suddenly considered alive. I don't really know. Um, I've never tried it, but okay. If group is alive, l ah, I think maybe group alive means the entire of the group is alive. That would be interesting. Not sure. Uh, if, if group of alive is less than, so we've looked at that one already. If group is dead, that means all of the units are dead, I believe. Uh, if external blue file predicate, no idea, but it's quite interesting. If a missile is in a zone, if it's this type of missile, there's that many of them in that zone, then do something. Mission score is higher than. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, mission score is higher than. So if it's blue, red, and what the score? And mission score is lower than. Part of the coalition is zone, already looked at that. Part of coalition out of zone, the polar opposite. Part of group in zone, part of group out zone, all very obvious stuff. Player scores player scores less than that. I've never looked at player scores before, so I can't really advise, but it all looks pretty simple stuff. And you're going to add to player score with the and subtract with the actions, obviously. Uh, player's unit argument in range. That's interesting. Absolutely no idea. So I'm not even going to guess. Random. Never looked at that before. Okay, so uh, that's, that's interesting. So we could say once, if there, there's a percentage chance, uh, so a dice is rolled, and if a percentage chance is more than uh, we, we show here, then I guess the action happened. Never tried that. Signal flare in zone. Interesting. If certain signal flare goes in a the zone, then something happens. Time is more than, um, this would be from the beginning of the mission, so this would say after 120 seconds or 2 minutes of the mission starting, then um, uh, then do an action. Time, oh sorry, time less in that case, you know what I mean. Uh, or if time is more than, then, yep. Time since flag we've looked at. Unit alive. Ah, uh, so the reason it looks like we are repeating ourselves is that we're in units now um, previously up there was groups remember groups is what DCS works with within groups groups are consisted of units so we'll be looking at a particular unit in this case so in this case within uh, my F-15 group uh, one of those F-15s would be called pilot 1, pilot 2 and whatnot. so we can go to the individual aircraft or, or, or Humvees or whatever okay Damage, and that's going to be damaged. Uh, so, yeah, if a particular aeroplane in a group is damaged, then do that. A particular group in a uh, particular unit in a group is dead. A particular unit in a group hits. Uh, don't know what that means, sorry. Unit inside moving zone. Don't know. Unit inside, so a particular unit is inside a zone. Not sure what a U moving zone is. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Uh, unit is outside zone. Unit's AGL, altitude higher than. So, if a particular aircraft, AGL, above ground level, altitude is higher or lower than, then do something. That's quite cool. For unit argument in range, don't know. If unit's bank within certain limits, or heading is within certain limits, or life less than a certain amount, or pitch in limit, or speed higher than, or speed lower than, or vertical speed in limit. All interesting stuff. Or or cockpit, uh, it all gets a bit beyond me with X cockpit, so I'm not even going to dwell into that. So like I said, I've only ever used a handful, probably five or six of these that I use on a daily basis. The other stuff, I don't know why you would ever want to use it, but it's all there. Cool. Uh, next, we'll have a look at some actions. And remember, you can have multiple conditions. I better set that back to what it was, actually. What was it now? It was um, time since flag, isn't it? Time since flag one is 120 seconds, then do this, and I'm going to create a new action. You can have as many actions as you want per uh, per trigger. And so we can AI task push, don't know. AI task set, don't know. Begin playing actor, don't know. Do script, don't know. Do script file, don't know. All above my head, that. I, uh, do smoke effect, I do know. Uh, you can go and make a smoke effect uh, in a zone. Here is the type of smoke you want to make, and this is the density of it. 
Uh, so if you want to end mission, we've looked at that. If you want to explode a unit, it's like creating an explosion with that amount of pounds of explosive, but it's an actual unit. Uh, flag decrease. Um, oh, right, yeah, yeah sorry. So uh, you're decreasing a flag, which is, I said there were booleans, they're actually integers. Um, don't know why I said there were booleans. Um, and we can, so that flag there, we can decrease its integer value by 10 or 11, 9 or 8. Okay, increase, turn a flag off or on. So my understanding is that a flag off is it's turning it to zero and on is turning it to one. I might have that understanding wrong, but that's how I understand it. Flag set random value. Wow. Um, <laughs> so we can set a flag's integer value between min and maximum limit. Interesting. Group activate uh, starts a non-activated uh, non group, as we saw. Group AI off, on. Don't know. Actually, that sounds interesting. I wonder if that allows it to become human occup occupied. So you could have an AI group of planes that suddenly turn their AI off and they can become flyable by humans. I don't know. Never tried it. Group deactivate. So that is literally gonna, just going to cut them from existence. Group resume. Uh, we've looked at that uh, already. Group stop. Ooh. Interesting. I've never used that before. So that's another way of holding a group by the looks of it. So a group can just stop doing what they're doing and a group can resume. That's interesting. Uh, illuminating bomb. What? <laughs> okay. Apparently you can make an illuminating bomb at a certain area. I've never tried it. Load mission. So if certain things are met, if the end of the mission is met, we could load a new mission, I suppose. Never tried that. Uh, mark to all. So this is a mark point on the F10 map. We could give it to a coalition or to a group or to all. And it can be a certain value. Uh, it can be some text on it. It can be based on, it's geographically based on a trigger, uh, on a zone. Read only so that you can't go in and edit it, presumably, and comment. Um, uh, never seen the need to do that, but that is there. Uh, marked coalition or to a group message to all we've looked at that or just to a coalition or just to a country or just to a group okay play argument don't know prevent control synchronization lord knows uh, radio item add uh, it's getting all a bit beyond me I'm afraid I'm not even going to think about that remove mark uh, so we can remove one of the marks scenery destruction zone how interesting uh don't know soon we remove object zone don't know set active help and gate to point don't know set briefing set failure uh, against okay i don't really know what it actually means what does it set briefing actually do in this case i don't really know set failure set flag value that's something we do know we can set a flag value set internal cargo shelving zone oh bit beyond me at this point to be honest sound we can make a sound so we can load up a WAV file or a, you know what I mean a compressed uh, wave uh, sound file and play that to whoever you want to play it to with a delay of whatever all very good more stuff I don't really understand emission I'm guessing that means radio emission but I or and or radar emission I stand to be corrected and just loads more stuff that I'm I'd never gonna understand so that just shows how I can make all my missions and I only use about 15 20 percent probably less than that but if you want to get complicated there are bucket loads of stuff in there uh, that's all I have the ability to really show there um, I guess all we do now is go and show the mission through and, and see how it goes so let's go and try that in fact I need the ability to kill these guys don't I so I better give myself some missiles uh, those little beauties well, what are they M120s okay in fact before we go um, just, I think I might have done with these triggers wrong um, gotta go back to the triggers where was the one for the paladins to start firing part of coalition this one here Group alive. I think I may have misunderstood the group alive less than. I'm going to change that and say group is uh, dead. Group dead. And it's going to be the bad guys, which are these guys. 
Group is dead. Uh, that is the bad guys. And then resume new vehicle group. Okay. And that is them. Okay. Save that up and give that a shot now. So first of all, I'm just going to go OK and not be an aircraft. Should it be a bomb going off somewhere? Going to work. Yeah, I think I've upset it. Spectators, there we go. Where's the bomb? Where's the bomb? Let's go and have a look. There you go, I hear it. Boom! Step one done. Bomb gone off. Next we need to go and beat our aircraft. I need to fly in that zone, which is ahead somewhere. Select my weapons. Let's see if I can remember how to fly this. Uh, radar on. So we've gone into through the zone. The messages come up at the top right there. Bad guys northeast. Let's go and have a look at them. Shoot them down. Track roll scan on. Power on. It's going for a cheeky flanking maneuver. You only need to kill one of them to set the trigger off. Distance 10 miles. Get some. I think he's dodged it, you know. Let's get him. Let's give him another. One of Uncle Sam's favourite. Five miles. You cheeky little rotter. You'll get what you're given, sir. He's uh, beamed us, so let's try and reacquire a log. We've got it. Two miles. I don't know if I've got sidewinders or not. I have. Boom! So. Um, I forgot what was supposed to happen, though. I killed that guy, and what happens? Um, is it these guys start firing? I think so. So let me just... Um, uh, better shoot this guy down, just in case, because I can't remember. Where is he? Where are you, monkey? If I could shoot him down. Any big lug pull. Boom. Two guys down. Right, that's definitely um, uh, doing whatever it's supposed to do. So I think the tanks start firing now. Let's go and have a look. Uh, F7. Uh, now, from memory, they take a few minutes to load. So let's just skip time forward. Aha! Boom, boom. Here we go. Right, I think they were just playing dumb, so let's go now find the civilian. Are they coming? Oh. <laughs> oh, is that it? Oh. That was a bit disappointing. Well, they missed. So the mission is not going to end. But if they had of hit, then we would have given, been given a warning that uh, there's two minutes to go until the end, and then the mission would have ended. Not much I can do about that. <laughs> As oh. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to get the, uh, we're never going to get this thing killed, are we? But it wasn't a comprehensive video. It wasn't a comprehensive video, it wasn't showing everything, but it gives you a good flavour of what you can do and how you can... ...link triggers based on other triggers, based on other triggers, based on other triggers, for as much complexity as you want. As I said, there's external scripting, but that is way beyond me. So, hope that helps. Otherwise, and I'll see you later.